Here's how I made this beautiful plate for my hubby. Alright guys, we're gonna go to the mall to buy a couple of things. We forgot the rosemary as well as some good wine. Yes, it's gonna be a face for today. So I'm currently living in the business district and what I love about the business district is the availability. You have everything, I mean, from restaurants to supermarkets to department stores. I mean, everything is so convenient and that's what I love about it. I get to walk to the store every day because it's so close. I mean, not that I want to, but I can. So this is the part that I have to pivot my ingredients because they don't have fresh rosemary. Plus, look at this soggy asparagus. I think we have to pivot our ingredients. So we will not be using rosemary, we're going to be using lemongrass. If you're a Cebuana, then you'll know that lemongrass is a staple here in Cebu. I'm also grabbing a couple of vegetables because I love vegetables on the side. Ginger is actually not going to be part of our recipe, but look at these bad boys. They're beautiful, absolutely huge. I'm definitely going to use this tonight when I make atomic shots. Speaking of shots, you can't have good steak without good wine. I like the blue one, but this is good enough. Alright, we got everything we need. Let's go home. All right, let's start prepping the steak. Before I fry the steak, I wanna make sure that it's absolutely dried. Using a thick tissue paper, thoroughly pat down your steak to make it so dry. This is to make sure that all of that seasoning will stick onto that steak until we sear them. Apply a generous amount of pepper onto our steak. Add a good amount of salt as well. I'm using Himalayan salt. Now this is optional, but you can definitely season your steak with garlic powder. I love that little tanginess that it brings when I sear it. Flip your steak and do the same thing at the back. Add your olive oil of choice. Generously pour olive oil on your steak and then after that, massage thoroughly. This is the fun part. Make sure that steak is evenly coated. All right, we're all done. Let's set it aside. While setting it aside, let's prepare our garnish. I've decided to cook mashed potato for my husband because this is a great pairing for the steak. Aside from a creamy mashed potato, I also wanna add a couple of mixed vegetables on the side, some cauliflower, carrots, some corn on the cob, all of the good stuff. Alright, so for the spices that I'm using, it's indicated above, so just follow through. Alright, so let's start searing our steak. First, we have to make sure that the pot is very, very hot. Alright, so this is the tricky part. If you want to achieve a medium rare, then pan sear your steak on both sides 4 minutes, or it depends on how thick it is. The thicker, then more minutes to pan sear. Once you fillet the steak, then this is the time you can add your butter and all of your spices. Right, so this recipe is definitely not the common and the normal spices to use when pan searing a steak. Normally you use rosemary, but they don't have it, so I'm using lemongrass. It's actually very, very aromatic and it's a great alternative for rosemary. 
Alright, now that our steak is done, what you want to do is to rest it so that it can accumulate all that red juice while resting. Rest your steak for about a minute or two so that it can accumulate all that juice. It should be fine. I mean, you can see the juice dripping. It's absolutely amazing. And voila, this is the finished product. I mean, if you have a foreigner husband, he'll surely love this. Try this out and let me know what you think.